is the market up or down right now? Coming up, we get a look at local real estate conditions heading into the new year with housing expert Louis Ortiz. All right, the uh, latest numbers just came out just a few moments ago to tell us that 2010 was the uh, worst year for home sales nationally since 1997. Now, we're just talking sales alone. What does the rest of the market look like? What does 2011 look like? Well, he doesn't have a crystal ball, but he's still pretty good at this. Our uh, real estate expert, Louis Ortiz, joins us this morning. And I know uh, making predictions or predictions is risky. Nobody really wants to do that, but you do see trends. Absolutely. Good to see you, Mark. Good to see you this morning. Uh, so what do you want to start with? Well, you know, 2000, I think 2010 is, is I think 2011 is going to look like a lot like 2011. I think that uh, we're going to continue to see a lot of uh, price declines and a decrease in pending sales around the county. Um, I'm looking at this kind of just list of concerns here for 2011. Appraisal issues. Now, this is something that it, it, most folks may not even realize what happened. When right. mortgages went into the dumper, one of the new regulations that went into effect says that a bank can't just use the same old appraiser that they've always used. Right. Because that was part of the problem. They got a little too cozy. The appraisers were coming in with numbers that were beneficial to the bank. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, one of the problems that I've seen is that um, oftentimes you'll have a seller that needs to get a certain amount of, of money for their property. They'll market the property and they'll get an offer from a buyer and it looks great. And then when the appraisal comes in, oftentimes the appraisal is less than what the buyer and seller have agreed upon because perhaps in the neighborhood there's been some short sales or foreclosures and then the lender doesn't want to fund. And so suddenly that, that opens up a whole can of worms for the buyer and seller with that appraisal. That's one of the issues I've seen a lot lately around our county. And that seems like an impediment, an artificial impediment to the market recovering because a home or any commodity is worth what people are willing to pay. Right. So if two people agree on a price and then an appraiser steps and says, no, 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 that's too high. Right. Well, that's, that's dragging the, the market back down, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And one of the problems is that because we've seen so many short sales and foreclosures in the county, the appraisers are starting to weigh those very heavily when they, when they do their appraisals. And so that is a problem. Yeah, but there's been some other problems around the county, too, I think, that are going to affect prices here um, in San Diego County. You know, one of the things that we hear a lot about is shadow inventory. And what a lot of people think about what shadow inventory is, is it's, it's houses that the banks have taken back that have not yet been put back on the market. Right. We're starting to see a lot of that right now around the county. But I think the real shadow inventory is that if you look at how many people are delinquent on their loans or trying to do loan modifications or in the short sale process, I think in our county that's the real shadow inventory. We just don't know how many people are still delinquent on those loans and how much of that inventory is going to come back on the market. Yeah, and, and you know I've talked about this over and over and over again. I'm one of those folks that had a, an adjustable rate mortgage. It's already started adjusting. Now, right now, that's to my benefit. Right. My rate is adjusted down, all the way down to 3.12%. It's minuscule. But I know it's going to go back up. Yeah. I'd love to go to the bank and say, the only modification I'd like is for you to pick an interest rate and lock it in. It could be you know, 5%. It could be 2% higher than it is right now. But just lock it in. They don't even want to talk to people like me because right. we're not in trouble yet. Right. Yeah, the lenders seem not to not to be talking to people who are making who are current on their loans. Uh, but that is another concern for the new year is interest rates. You know, there's a lot of people with adjustable rate loans, and right now there's no problem making their payments. Right. But what happens if those interest rates go up even just a little bit? How will that impact our local market here in San Diego? Yeah, this this is, uh, has been my concern, and, and the bigger issue of loan modifications. You know, we, for all that we talk about this. They don't really happen very often, and the folks that do get modifications end up back in trouble again uh, in a large percentage, don't they? Yeah, absolutely, and that's one of my concerns for 2011 is what I, I typically see most San Diego homeowners, they need to do loan modifications. They, they try and do that first. Typically, the loan modifications either don't go through or they're really meaningless. They, they may reduce the payment slightly, but it's tacked onto the back end of the loan, and then suddenly the seller finds that they can't do that then they typically try and do a short sale or foreclosure and that process just takes so much time that I think that those are some of the concerns that we're going to see in our county. Now that all sounds negative but having said that there are always opportunities in sure. every market so if you're a first time home buyer uh, and you've managed to put some money together. Uh, the interest rates are down, and there's a lot of inventory out there. Yeah, absolutely. Interest rates are at historic lows, and there's a lot of great buys and great inventory out there. And, and I think for a buyer's market, I mean, they just need to look, and really, there's some great deals out there. All right. Lou Airt is always great to see you. Thank Thanks. you so Good much. To see you. Thanks. And we'll put a bunch of information at uh, San Diego6.com on hot topics and a link where you can get in touch with Louie and ask uh, any questions that you might have. Always good to great see you. Great to see you. Thanks. All right. Happy New Year. All right.